Can tannins harm aquatic plants? The answer might be, in fact, the opposite. Tannins, those tea-like compounds that stain your aquarium water brown, can subtly influence plant growth, nutrient uptake, and even their resilience. But is it all good news? Well, stick around because the truth about how they affect plants might just surprise you. Tannins are organic compounds found in leaves, pods, and wood that leaches into the water over time. They create the signature dark hues of black water and slightly lower the pH. But what do they mean for plants? Unlike fish, plants aren't swimming around through tea-stained colour for fun. They are deeply affected by the changes tannins bring to their environment. Tannins lower the water's pH by releasing organic acids such as humic and fulvic acids into the water column. These acids act as natural binders, attaching to metals like iron and manganese, and keeping them in a form that plants can easily absorb. In an aquatic environment with a mildly acidic pH, typically between 5.5 and 6.5 for example, plants are able to more effectively access these essential nutrients. Iron, for instance, is a critical component in chlorophyll synthesis, directly influencing plants' photosynthesis and overall health. Similarly, manganese plays a key role in reactions that support plant metabolism and growth. In tannin-rich water, these processes are amplified, leading to robust growth for species naturally adapted to acidic conditions. Amazon swords, for example, thrive in such environments due to their evolutionary adaption to blackwater habitats in the Amazon River. These plants demonstrate vibrant leaf growth and improved coloration when exposed to enhanced nutrient availability in tannin water. This acidic environment also helps suppress harmful pathogens and algae, creating a healthy ecosystem for plants. Here's the twist though, the effects of tannins aren't universally beneficial. The reduced pH may limit the availability of other nutrients such as calcium and magnesium, which are less soluble in acidic water. This could pose challenges for plants that require high levels of these nutrients or prefer a more neutral pH environment, making plant selection critical for a successful blackwater aquarium. Not all plants are created equal though when it comes to thriving in tannin-stained waters. Some species are naturally suited to the lower pH, reduced light and nutrient dynamics of these environments. So let's take a closer look at a few examples. Java fern. This hardy plant is perfect for black water conditions. Its slow growth and low light requirements make it perfect for the dim environments tannins create. It's also incredibly adaptable to a wide range of water parameters, making it a go-to for beginners and experts. Known for their resilience, cryptochorines flourish in subdued lighting and tannin-rich tanks. Their slow growth and tolerance for low pH make them an ideal choice for creating depth and texture in your aquarium. Anubias, a staple plant and another excellent choice. Their broad dark green leaves contrast beautifully with the tea-coloured water. Their low maintenance tolerate low light and attach easily to hardscape materials like driftwood and stones. All of these plants share a common thread. They evolved in environments similar to blackwater habitats, making them well adapted to thrive where tannins dominate. So choosing the right plants for your setup not only ensures success, but also creates a harmonious natural aesthetic. One less obvious effect is how tannins influence plant competition. By altering nutrient availability and light, tannins can shift the balance of which plants dominate. For aquascapers, this is both a challenge and an opportunity. It's a way of curating a more natural hierarchy within your aquarium. This benefit can also help with algae growth and control. At their core, tannins are nature's way of balancing ecosystems. For plants, they're a double-edged sword enhancing some aspects whilst challenging others. It's not just about whether tannins affect plants, it's about how plants adapt to them. And that's the beauty of blackwater aquariums. They bring complex to the surface, or in this case, beneath it. But if tannins shape plants this much, what other effects are we yet to explore?